Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Lantern 17FQ. It's a great little bunk model camper if you're looking to just getting into camping and you want to, you know, pack the family up and have the experience, or maybe you're looking to move up from a pop-up, this is certainly one you want to consider. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. One of the things I enjoy about this floor plan is the fact you do get all of this prep space right here. Now they accomplish that by giving you a single bowl rather than a double bowl sink and having a two burner, uh, you know, vertical style cooktop. But I think it's a great trade off because otherwise you wouldn't have any prep space here at all. So I do like that you have all of this here. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet right there in the wall rather than, you know, mounted underneath the cabinet. So it's a lot better for permanent solutions. Like maybe you want your coffee maker right here. You can plug it in. You don't have a cord hanging. So I like that as well. But as I mentioned, single bowl sink here, two burner cooktop, one on the back here, a little bit higher output, uh, but very functional all in all. If we take a look right down below, this is your Norcold fridge. You have the drop down freezer compartment here as well. The controls for that are right here, folks, nice and simple and easy to use. Moving over a little bit further, you have a small cutout underneath the sink. You have good storage underneath that. Uh, you know, I personally would probably put pots and pans under there, but whatever you want to do, you can certainly do. You have a drawer, folks, for any uh, kitchen to be useful. You have to have a drawer. You have to have a place to put your uh, silverware, and this is it right here. Underneath that is your direct vent furnace and an RV this size. That's all you need. It'll make sure everything is nice and toasty. Take a quick look up top here. You do have storage right up there. LED light underneath. You actually have LED lights throughout the entire RV. So again, if you plan on going boondocking where you don't have shore power, LED lights are great. They use about a tenth of the power as your standard halogen lights, and they don't put out near as much heat. Right over next to that is your microwave, your hood directly underneath with both a light and a fan. Now as we move over, this is kind of a versatile multi-function space here. You have a couple different options. You can certainly use this as a pantry for your food stuff. You can put plates in here, you can put pots and pans in here. I myself would probably put some of the kids' clothes in here. Uh, you know, the bunks are right across the way. You know, I'd probably put like the kids' clothes in the bottom two, maybe use the top ones for some extra pantry space. But again, you know, folks, when, when you pick up the camper, you can make it fit to your needs. But that is a good, versatile storage space right there. Right over next to me here is the bathroom. We'll open this space up. Right there is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have plenty of leg room. Over to this side here is the shower. Uh, you can see that you have a hand wand here over uh, to the side. So again, if you need to shower up, makes it nice and easy. Then right up top is the skylight. So that only not only lets in a lot of natural light, but also gives you some additional headroom. You have an LED light up there as well as a vent fan in case you need to quickly help moisture escape. Now at the heart of the unit, again, this is a bunk model. Uh, the cool thing about this, is this in the industry is what they call a single over a double, meaning you have a single bunk up top and a double wide bunk down below. The really neat thing about this, folks, is oftentimes it's a small kid that wants to sleep up top, so having a single bunk is all you need. 300 pound weight capacity on there, though, so if you do have you know, an adult friend that wants to sleep there, they can certainly uh, you know, do that as well. Right underneath is that big double wide bunk there, too. You also have a window on both the top and the bottom. Making our way back up toward the front. Right here is your thermostat. This controls your heat. This unit does have a wall mount AC, which I'll show you in a little bit, but the controls for that are on the unit itself. Right here is your dinette. This is your main, uh, basically, hangout and living area. This is where you'll sit to, uh, uh, you know, eat a meal together, to watch, uh, or, you know, to watch TV, to play a game. This will be the spot to do it right here. Now this also does drop down into a bed if you need the additional sleeping space. It's not a huge bed, but again, if it's kids, this will work quite well. All you have to do is remove the legs right here from the, uh, the flanges in the floor as well as in the table. This table itself will actually sit right here along these rails. Take the back cushions and put them on top here, and again, that will create a nice small bed. The other thing, folks, this works really well for, and this is what I've done when I went camping when my daughter was smaller, 
is uh, I would drop this down, put the cushions on it. Then you can set up a pack and play on there, you know, or remove the cushions altogether. That works too. You know, that way you have a nice firm surface, but you know, put a pack and play up there. That way they're up and out of the way. Plus they're really close. If you have to wake up in the middle of the night, you know, you can just step up, get to them right there. So if you are camping with really young kids, uh, that is an excellent option too. Right down below is an electrical outlet. If you need to plug in a laptop, tablet, whatever else it may be, that is the spot to do it there. LED light here again, you know, so that way you can see while you're eating a meal, you have storage going across the top. I mentioned watching TV. Right here, they put a backer in the wall. They show you exactly where to mount it. So you mount, your, uh, mount it right there. Your corresponding connections are right up top. If you want, folks, you could even put on like a swing arm mount. That way you could, you know, turn it in case you're cooking in the kitchen here. Uh, you know, but either way, you can still have a good shot either from the dinette or from the bed, which is pretty cool too. Tank monitoring panel is right up there. That obviously will monitor, uh, you know, do exactly that. Monitor your tanks as well as your battery. Your water pump is there too. So if you are doing boondocking, you need to pull the water out of your fresh tank, that's the spot to do it. Right here is your radio. Uh, this unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna, you know, hook up to it via smartphone or something like that, you can. It has a USB port on there as well as an auxiliary port in case you do wanna hook up uh, components in a different way. So right here is that AC unit I mentioned, right above the bed. So if it's a hot night, folks, you're going to stay nice and cool. Super easy to adjust. Again, the controls are right up front there. Windows on both sides of the bed. So if you want some cross ventilation, that will certainly aid in that. The bed, even though it is turned sideways, folks, this is still a 60 by 74 RV queen. So it's what you usually find in an RV. It's nice and wide, plenty wide enough for, uh, you know, two people to sleep in. A, a residential queen is 60 inches wide, so same width, a couple inches shorter than your residential queen. But either way, again, still great space. Right over on the end here, you kind of have a little nightstand, which is great. Some storage there underneath. Electrical outlet right there too. The reason I like this is if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can take it with you. You know, you don't have to worry about having a bad night's sleep. You can plug it in right there, or it gives you a good spot to plug in cell phones, tablets, other electronics. And then right up top here, going all the way across, you have additional storage, which is of course a great place for your clothes. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman 17 FQ. Starting right up front here, you have your 20 pound propane tank. Directly behind that are rails there for your battery. And then right up front, you have this diamond etched plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that'll get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Take a look at this sticker, folks. This is a great peace of mind. This unit has a three year structural warranty. That is the industry leading warranty. I'm telling you folks, if you're looking for a product or a manufacturer that stands behind their product, Coleman certainly does so right there. Coming around to the side, you'll also see you have solar prep. So if you plan on doing some boondocking and you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge the battery. For front storage, I'll open this up. Nice big door here. You can take a look. Big storage compartment there as well, folks. So if you have, you know, some large chairs or grill, firewood, something like that you want to throw in there, you're able to do so with that big storage compartment. Power awning on here, just touch a button to roll it out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And one of the other parts I really like, folks, is the fact you have this remote right here. So uh, I call this the party light, but it has a bunch of different options. You can change to whatever color you want. So, you know, you have a couple different options there. It's kind of cool. You can get a little festive with it. You know, if you want to make it, uh, you know, fade in and out, you can do that too. Uh, but, you know, just a, a lot of really cool options. So uh, that does come as a standard on here, which again, I think is really, really neat, uh, especially uh, in this price point. Main entrance, of course, is right there. Single step is all you need. This is a low profile RV, folks. It's lightweight. They expect you to tow it with a smaller uh, tow vehicle, so they kept it nice and low to the ground for you to help decrease a lot of the wind resistance. You need an outside electrical outlet, there it is. This lets you plug in your cell phone. If you want to set up a table and plug in a, you know, a crock pot or electric griddle, maybe you want an outside margarita bar, you want to you know, plug in your uh, Margaritaville margarita maker, you can do that there as well. You see nitrogen filled tires, so in theory that'll hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time, which is great. And then you also have easy lube axles. You can pop that little cap off right there as a grease dirt, pump some grease in there instead of having to constantly repack your bearings. If we take a look, quick look at the back, you'll see right here is your spare tire. 
Folks, hopefully you never have to use this, but in the event that you do, it's great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here for you. And it's mounted on the bumper, which is the absolute easiest place to get to a spare tire. And when we come around to the off door side, you see right back here is your water heater. Beneath that is your termination with both uh, gray and black valve on there. 30 amp power cord, it's nice and simple. You just pull it out. When you're done, you just lift this door back up, shove it right back in there, close it down, you're good to go. Right there is your cable inlet. And if we make our way up front, right up here, this is your fresh water fill. So if you're looking to fill your fresh water tanks, again, you plan on doing some boondocking, you'll want to fill it up right there. That is gravity fill. Directly underneath that is your city water inlet. So if you have full hookup, you just plug in right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman Lantern 17 FQ. If you're interested in this lightweight bunk model, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.